guys welcome back so as I stated in my previous video where I used my makeup shack rainforest palette this is look number two I wanted to go ahead and do a few looks using this palette because it's so beautiful so many vibrant colors so gorgeous that I wanted to test it out in just a few videos for you guys and so that's how I'm doing this palette Instead of three looks, one video, I'm doing three looks, three videos, <laughs> okay? So, um, actually, I think it's going to be four videos because I still want to do a red look and a basic warm or neutral look. So, anyway, today's look is purple. As you can see, I did go ahead and add a little bit of a white liner just to make it pop a little bit, but... I want to keep these intros short and sweet because I don't want to give my whole full review until the last video. So just for the shades that I used today, I really focused on this row here with the purples and kind of like the burgundy type shades. I did go in with this silver highlight in my inner corner and basically that's kind of what I stuck to was just really on this row here. And what I will say about this purple, which is the main color in my crease, it is nicely pigmented. I did just go in and kind of build it up gently, but I would definitely say it's a nicely pigmented shadow for this palette. I was kind of surprised. I was thinking that maybe I would have to go in, it would be a bit patchy and I would just have to build it up, but I just used it like I normally do with my other shadows and the pigmentation turned out to be very very nice. Um, this burgundy shade here is what I use to smoke out the purple and I really like that color as well. I didn't have any issues with pigmentation today you guys just to let you know that right off the bat. Now with these shimmer shadows I placed this kind of like lavender shimmer as well as this red shimmer on my lid and you can see I just kind of blended them together. I wanted kind of a nice kind of ombre effect with those shimmers and so I just kind of blended them together on my lid. What I will say about the shimmers I noticed they're very 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 hard pressed in this palette okay. You really really have to go in and dig to get some of the shadow out of the pan. You can't just kind of swipe your brush in there and put it on your lid. No, <laughs> not with these shimmers. I definitely had to kind of dig and scrape and to get the pigment. I mean, the pigment for the shadows is there. It's really pretty, but it's very hard to get it out of the pan. So I will say that for those shadows. I would prefer if these were a little bit softer, a little bit more creamy, a little bit more buttery, but we have to remember this palette only cost me $12, <laughs> so I can't expect that much from it. So that's pretty much what I have to say about the shadows I used today. I did use one, two, three, four, five shadow nope I used six shadows today because I did use the black to smoke out my outer corners I did use that to kind of deepen that purple a little bit more and turn it into a real plummy shade so I do like the black thus far because it is nicely pigmented it's not the best black that I have definitely no it's not the most deep dark midnight black that I have but as far as using it to smoke out my outer corners um what this palette costs I don't know if you can see that it's a decent black it's not bad at all as you can see it's one of those blacks where you definitely have to build it up in order to get it darker and deeper but it's not like a midnight black it's not like this <laughs> background black you know it's more kind of like a smoky black so I do like the fact that it is buildable because when you're kind of trying to smoke out your outer crease you don't want it to be too too pigmented when you first go in unless you know how to control it so anyway those are just my thoughts on the black right now I like it I like how it smoked out my outer corner so I really want to play around with that black a little bit more when I do do my <laughs> everyday a neutral look which I feel like is gonna turn into a smoky nighttime look just because I want to play with that black but anyway so those are just 
my thoughts for the shadows that I used today from this palette, you guys. If you'd like to see how I created this look, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Oh.